Um, hey, me, Kelly Carroll. Good morning, sunshine. Morning, sunshine. Good morning, sunshine. Oh, good morning, sunshine. Daily dose of protective. Good morning, sweet baby sunshines. Good morning, sunshines. Let's get started. Hey guys, Kelly Carroll here talking about how more is less, unless it's less or not as much. Or I don't, I don't know. Like that's what we're gonna dive into. So first of all, say good morning, sunshine. Hashtag GMS wherever you are watching and listening, and share something you're grateful for, so you can start your day off feeling positive throughout your being. That's gonna be great. And then let's talk about this. Uh, this month for our book club, you guys know that we do a book club. Uh, we just pick something that's gonna help support us in becoming more of maybe what we want to become in our lives, and we read it together, and then we check in with each other on social media. So that's neat. And this month we're doing. Oh my gosh, I should remember Maria Kondo's method of like decluttering and this like the art, of the, the magic art of tidying up, I think is what it's called. I should have known that before I started, but guess what? No big deal because I don't, I can put it in the comments. Um, and we're going through and it's, it's supporting me in connecting a different way. And I wanted to talk about that for a second in case this might be something you're interested in doing of letting go of some of the things that are holding you back in your life. And right now I'm talking about the physical things that are around you, but really that supports you in opening up an emotional space. Um, even more and beyond the physical space. So what's so unique about this method is it's not about getting rid of what you don't use or don't really want anymore or have served their purpose and it's gone or you haven't worn it for a year, you haven't used it for a year, it's in the back of the closet. Um, it's not about that style of deep cleaning and decluttering. It's about picking and looking at everything in your presence and deciding whether or not it sparks joy, which is another one of her books. I know that one. Uh, and like really connecting with really each thing and be like, does this, does this bring me joy? And it's funny because I love to deep clean. Like it's one of my favorite things to do, but I like things to get like nasty enough that I want to deep clean. And by that, I mean like the, the junk drawers are completely full again. And like, you know, the, the cabinets all jacked up and the spices are all over or whatever. And I'm like, okay, it's time to deep clean. Like, let's re do it all even though we just did this four months ago is anybody else like that where they're like you just kind of you do it then you let it get all jacked up again and then you do it again and so like just this last I don't know since Witten's diagnosis I've gone through and I've deep cleaned every area of our house at least three times over the last two years and, and I'm not just talking about like kind of cleaning stuff. I'm talking about like pulling everything out, you guys. Like in my kitchen, I will pull all of the items out, all the pots, the pans, the silverware, the spices, everything out into the middle of the room and then put them back into a home, into a spot, making sure I'm getting rid of expired things and all the different stuff. Um, clothes, going through, have I worn this in a year? No. Do I really like the style anymore? No. And then just, you know, getting rid of all of these different things in my space. So I do this over and over again. And it's funny because I chose this book because I had just gone through, you guys have heard about this. Um, I've just gone through this uh, phase where I wanted to start with a blank slate of my life. And I just decided to like paint my entire house white instead of the, the blues and reds and oranges that it was. And then I like started getting rid of all these different things and the mismatched cups and like just getting everything that's matching and like really finding a lot more unison clarity clear and like declutter in my home so i was like this feels really really good i walk into my space and i'm like it just feels so bright and clean and fresh and it feels like i have a lot of space emotionally and physically and then i thought about i was like you know going through all the books on my bookshelf and i looked at this one i was like you know what this would be great for book club like i would love for other people to fill this so that they could let go of some of the things that aren't serving them anymore and then I started reading the book and I was like, oh, oh, cool. So I thought what I had done was done, but really I haven't even done any of the things that she's going through, which is why I have to declutter and do this whole deep cleaning thing every single quarter because I'm not doing it to its completeness. I'm not, I'm not selecting things because they spark joy. I'm selecting things because they no longer serve. And if it's may, it maybe or whatever that I keep it around, you know, or it might be, then I keep it around. So, wow, it's getting really bright in my car. You guys are welcome. Turn video off now. Good, good, good. Hopefully it's the podcast, not the video version, or maybe I should just do this. Anywho, 
Um, so this morning I was going through and I was doing my clothes again. And I literally just got rid of two, two of those like large black trash bags of clothes within the last six weeks, uh, which is a lot of clothes. Right. And, and I, I mean, it's not like, you're like, did you just buy all those clothes in the last couple of years? No, like I've got stuff that's in there from 15, 20 years ago. Right. Like, do I really wear this? Do I not? So I had just gotten rid of quite a few items and then kept quite a few others. Like I say, you know, maybe I'll wear this. This isn't bad. This is whatever. So this morning, 3.40 a.m., I wake up. I'm like, what do you feel like doing right now? Like, what seems like it would be joyous for you in this moment? And I was like, I want to go through my clothes. So I go downstairs in the basement. Now it's 4 a.m. I've got my cup of tea. I'm ready to rock. And I start going through each item. And what she recommends is that you, like, actually hold on to each item and be like, does this bring me joy? Does this item, like, do I get excited to wear this? And I'm telling you what, my closet went from what I just cleaned out, which I thought was like pretty dang organized, to this mound of clothes that's probably five foot by four foot, like five foot wide, four foot long, and maybe about two feet high of things that don't bring me joy. Like they're fine. They're cool. They're okay. Like maybe I, you know, I don't know. I just wore some of it like last week, you know, like it's, it's not bad, but it's not like I put it on and I'm like, ah, I feel good in this. Like this brings me joy or there's a memory that's tied to it. Or it just like brings a certain feeling. So I, I actually ended up keeping this limited amount of things. And as I stood back and I looked at my closet, I'm like, wow, like that feels different. Like I could walk up to, you know, like usually like you're flipping through, no, not that, not that, not that, nah, like really don't love that. And then you pick your one item. Now it's like, I just have the one items that I really do enjoy. And I, uh, I'm going to be honest, there's probably another 20, 30 things that are hung up that I don't really need still, but I, 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 I'll, I'll work on that. I'll work on that. Cause you know, I look at it, I'm like, okay, most of that feels really good, but something in there still doesn't feel like quite right. And I do still have to do all of my dress clothes and um, whatever. So I, I only did, I only did a portion. I did like 80% of my stuff this morning and it feels freaking fantastic. And what it made me think about is how we always say less is more. Not always, but that's something you guys heard this statement before. Less is more. And like, I'm driving to the gym this morning. Like, you know what? Less is more. Like I look at the pile that I'm about to let go of to create space for what I really love. And you know, like, I mean, like all of my like fit coach things and there there's like the shirt that's got Sesame Street characters on it and it says fit coach on the back. And I really do love it. And I love the way that it looks, but I just don't like the way it feels. I don't like the way it hugs in certain spots. So I'm like, I'm letting that go where I, that's the one that I just like kept skipping over a bunch of these things. Right. And I'm just, I'm letting that go. And as I do, I get to create space to actually look and be like, I could wear that. I could wear that. I could to every single item. And this is just the first bit, like step of the process. You start with your clothes, you move through to like your books and your papers and your miscellaneous, and you go through your entire your home over the course of approximately six months is your goal is to get it done within that amount of time. And you go through each space and only choose things that bring joy. And when you do that, I do think less is more. I think when you can create that space where now you have less things that really bring this positive energy within you, less is more. Now, less is not always more. Less could be less. If I was just like, okay, Cal, you only get to keep, you know, 10, 10 of these and 10 of these and 10 of these and you just grab whatever and then I have less of things that I don't find joy from. I have less that don't um, really bring me that positive emotion. Then less is just less. It's it's less of less of what I had before. It's not, it doesn't, it hasn't created any more positive energy. Does that make sense? And you can think about this in your life in a lot of different ways. Like, like, Maybe it's just not your home and your things, right? Maybe you look at your friendships and you're like, less is more. I'd rather have less, like less rest, like friendships, but a uh, but a uh, higher quality. In that case, less is more. This light is driving me absolute nuts. Is it driving you guys nuts? That's even worse. Whatever. Um, so. In that case, if you have less people that you're connecting with, but you're connecting them, you know, connecting with them on a higher level and you feel like it's bringing more positivity, more joy, um, more positive energy in your life, then less is more. But some people too are like, I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to keep dwindling down. I'm going to be like cutting the herd. And you start cutting out people who really did bring out joy in your life in different ways. Maybe it's the one friend that made you laugh or it's the, the one friend that got you to do crazy things or it's the one friend who just really like listened 
listen, but you're like, no, I'm going to really just focus on these three relationships. And you've let people go. And now less is not more. Less is just less because you had some beautiful things in your world before that you decided to just depart from because you wanted to go for the less is more statement. And um, you could probably look at your life in a lot of different ways. It's easiest probably in the physical world of your stuff, you know, your your clothes, your books, your miscellaneous items, your kitchen, your your pantry, all the different crap that's around. Like, is this really bringing me joy in my life? You can look there, but then you can also look at your, you know, your 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 um, habits, exercise, right? Let's just just bring up one habit. Um, is less more? Sometimes yes. Sometimes more is just, you're just crushing your body. Like I'm about to go to a Pilates fusion class. I used to do HIIT training only all the time. I'm like, I need to run eight miles and I'm going to lift and I'm going to do my abs and I do all these different things. But now I do believe that less is more. I can manage myself, my body, my health differently when I, when I choose selectively things that bring me joy and really make me feel wonderful and, um, just, just connect with the positivity, right? So today I want you or I encourage you to just go through, maybe it's like, like start with some physical things because it's going to be easier and decide whether less is more with those physical items. Um, and, and by that, I mean, like connect with the joy that it really brings you. And if that sounds so overwhelming, like just start with your t-shirts, just pull out your t-shirts and be like, does this really bring me joy? I used to have 60 t-shirts and now I have 10 and that's probably still too many, but like the ones that I have, man, are they just soft the right way, fit the right way, big the right way, funny the right way, bring back a memory the right way. Like they are just my pieces of clothing. So just start with something small like that and then look at what you had and now what you have and think, does this less feel like more? And if you enjoy that process, take it to the next thing. Take it to something else. Grab the book if you'd like, right? And like go through place by place in your life. But just starting with, you know, maybe look at your shoes. Like you really do the same exact thing. Then, you know, maybe you want to look at your, um, your, your, your game closet. I don't like, we have a game closet. Do we ever play any of those games? Oh, but maybe someday our family's going to play Trivial Pursuit. But we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. We just play with the pie pieces and throw them around like a like they're a toy. That's what we do with them. Sometimes less is more. Then I don't have to pick up all those little triangle pieces. Okay, you guys. I apologize about the cinematography if you're watching today, but this is just the stage that I have set for myself. It's time for me to go do some Pilates fusion, uh, some less is more in my life, and um, then package up my stuff to give it to somebody who could use it more. I'm going to go donate all of those large, probably three trash bags of stuff now. Guys, I love you. Don't forget the perspective reveals miracles, and see if you can get a little less that's actually more, not less that's less in your life. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Thanks for joining and don't forget to subscribe and of course, share with your friends. Guys, that's how we impact more lives. All right, see you next time.